My theme for today is platform formation. Uh, I'm sure has any of you heard of this term before? No, great. Okay, because this is a term we have coined. We have actually trying to take a trademark on it. Uh, filed for trademarks in three countries. Hopefully, we'll get it. So the reason for, I mean, I would like to call it a concept only. Saying coming up with this concept of platformation was the industry has been driven to a lot of change over the last 15 years. I'll talk about some of these companies which have transformed or no commonly used word which I don't like, disrupted other industries kind of stuff. And they were really done through what were called four or five technologies, which is social, mobile, the cloud, analytics, and the newer technologies like IoT, uh, what uh, Rajiv mentioned, like blockchain, robotic process automation, chatbots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But fundamentally, what these technologies have done was to change the way certain businesses were run. And that led to this whole word called digital transformation. Uh, so, so we said, how do we as a company address this digital transformation? Do we say that we take just these technologies and use it to build solutions and say, I'm digitally transforming your business? Or is there some other way we can look at this whole process of digital transformation and say that there is a particular way to do it so that if you do it, you as a company would have achieved a truly business model. So we did some research on some of these successful companies. And at the same time, uh, there was a lot of work done by the World Economic Forum on this. Uh, they've got this theme called the fourth industrial revolution, which talks about the physical, digital, and material is changing the world. Uh, the physical is your 3D printing, robotics, etc. And the digital is what they talked about is the platform-based business models. And they have a definition for platform-based business models. And the material is all about the new advancement in material science. We were at the, I think, uh, the MIT labs last year, and we actually saw organs being printed using 3D printing. And that's a new material science which is developed where things have now come to a certain stage where you can actually now start printing human organs kind of stuff. So these are the things which were driving this change kind of thing. So we said, so how do we then come up with something which is, let's say, unique to us, which we can take to our clients? And that's how we coined this term platformation. I'll explain what it means uh, over the next uh, few minutes. So. I talked about, I mean, most of these companies you've heard of, Amazon, Airbnb, Uber, etc. These are the companies which have, we believe, have truly adopted platform-based business models. Uh, there is a definition of what is a platform-based business model. Uh, there are pipe-based business models, which are your traditional industries where there is a supplier at one end, the consumer at one end and the business flows through the pipe, more or less. And a platform-based business model is a model where the suppliers, consumers it's get together on a non-linear fashion in an infinitely scalable way. And those people who participate in that business, each of them benefit out of that interaction with the platform. So what it means is that they're infinitely scalable. Uh, they can allow any number of participants to come in and play. I mean, if you are Uber, let's say they were possibly doing one million people about seven years ago. Today they do a billion people. So how did it happen? It was happened because of their ability to create this platform-based business model. And so is it with Amazon or uh, Netflix and so on and so forth. So what we said was, we did some research and then we looked at some of the other stuff which is happening in the world. We said there are four aspects to this platform based companies. That one is that, that the platforms are infinitely scalable. That means they are architected that you can scale up. Like Uber wants to open a operation in India, they can get started in 
30 days. I mean, if you are a taxi company who wants to go and operate in India, it will take you 4 years. If you want to get the same number of cars and permits and other people kind of stuff. So, it is an infinitely scalable technology architecture. The second is it is open. It allows people to come and go as quickly as possible. Third, it is connected. That means it supports what is called a ecosystem based businesses because all businesses are now considered not individual, but they are part of an ecosystem and how can you connect the ecosystem. So, how do these things do it? And last but not the least is what a lot of people have talked about today is that they have to be intelligent. That means do these things, use the data which they are generating and these platforms generate, uh, you know, huge terabytes of data on an hourly basis. So, are these platforms created intelligently? That means are they able to use the data which they are generating to create intelligence, create new products, offer best, better customer service, etc., etc. So, the whole underlying theme is intelligent. So, out of this we said, okay, if you want to be a truly platform based company and it's not necessary that all businesses need to be a 100 percent platform based company, but definitely if you want to look at a digital initiative, this is what we are recommending saying that can you take a platform based model to your digital initiatives and do this. So, that is the uh, whatever uh, theme behind what we call platformation. And this is a little technical, but this is proprietary to us and we have studied saying if you want to be a truly platform technology based company, we have said there are 16 parameters you need to satisfy, right. And the companies I have talked about in the previous slide actually do this plus a lot more better. But this is what we are saying, if you want to be truly uh, uh, a platform based company and you believe that that is your business model. There are 16 things you need to do. A lot of things are self evident, but as I said one is I talked about data is the data is the underlying theme behind your platform. Second is that is it intelligent. Third is does it multi device, it works on all kinds of devices. It is not just on a PC, but it works on a phone. PC, any other new device, etc., an IoT device, anything can be connected very quickly. It is on the cloud, which then it allows you scalability, it is open, it is connected. And one of the more important technical kind of stuff are things like is it based on what is now popularly called microservices architecture, saying that am I using that kind of a concept to create this platform. So, this is our own framework. I will tell you how do we use it. Uh, as we go forward, uh, uh, we have another session in the afternoon where we will run a small workshop in trying to use these concepts for your own exercise. It will be hopefully a little bit of fun. So, having said that, we said then how do we then look at companies and say, if you want to go and say, are you prepared for a platform based approach? We have created another framework called a platform maturity model, which are three dimensions, which is data, digital and people. And then we have a set of questions which tell you where you are as a company in the platform maturity model. It just tells you where you are, it does not give you any answers, but just gives you a picture of if you want to think that you are a platform based company and if you apply this framework where you are and we will try, we will do some of it in the later part of the afternoon. So, having said that then how do you go do this, right? So, three ways, one is you can look at end to end digital platforms which are available in the world end to end, uh, but the uh, advantage is it could be uh, cost effective, uh, faster implementation, but really does not give you competitive advantage. So, if you are looking at truly competitive advantage you should look at options 2 or options 3. Options 2 is really taking a, a platform from a company like Microsoft or SAP or IBM or Oracle as the underlying tech platform and then create your platforms on that. At least they have thought through the end to end stack. So, if you take the 16 point framework and you take an end to end tech platform stack from some of these companies, they will knock off a lot of those points. So, you do not have to worry about those aspects and then you use it to create that. And the last is really what companies like Amazon and Google and eBay and 
Uber do. They say that we don't want to pay anybody a license fee for our platform. So we want to create everything on our own because we want to be an infinitely scalable company. And if you want to be successful, my cost of operation have to be fixed. So, so they say we'll go build it yourselves. So I don't want to pay a license fee, but I have, I will make the investment to create it. And that's what these companies have done. They don't, everything they have is 100% their own, including the data centers, the, the tools, the software. And, and now somebody like Amazon is actually trying to, or even Google is actually now trying to sell it to others as a platform which others can use kind of stuff. So three ways to get there. Uh, I mean, there are other uh, pros and cons. So it's a little bit about Sonata, why we are, uh, 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 why we believe there is platformation DNA in us. Right, this is interesting. So uh, as we do uh, platformation, we have also all our corporate social responsibility work is directed towards helping certain industries in India uh, use platforms for their business. So two of our uh, CSR ventures, is one is with an industry foundation who want to say that they want to create a million creative jobs. Um, and that's where this, what Harsha talked about, you know, there are 82 jobs at risk. So, yeah, and which is true. And there is an actually a report from the World Economic Forum which says, including doctors and others, which says that there are a lot of jobs which are at risk because of this whole AI and uh, you automate everything and there's so much of intelligence that a lot of things can be done uh, automatically kind of stuff. So, so the belief is that what does a country like India do uh, where unemployment is a big issue? So, and there are a lot of uh, Indian artwork, handicrafts, which are dying today uh, because of lack of market access. So this initiative has been, how do we get a million of these people onto a platform so that they can then sell their where it's using the platform, this thing. So we have helped create the platform. Similarly, the second one is another place in a state called Madhya Pradesh in India, who are developing completely brand new kind of uh, clothing. And again, we are creating a platform for them. So just to mention that all our, including our value to our uh, clients, uh, or our social responsibility is also aimed towards helping uh, improve people's lives uh, through platforms. So having said that, and uh, take the first step to platformation, so we'll talk about it a little bit later in the afternoon where we will run a short workshop and, and tell you if you want to do it, where are we and where are you individually in this kind of a journey. So yeah, thank you all for your time. Mm -hmm.